All right, so today we're going to talk about Aries, right? At this point, I'm sure you've probably watched more than one of these. Uh, so Aries, Mars is his Roman name. He is a, a really famous god as well. Uh, he is the god of war. Now, this is the first point where I have to pause and say, wait a second, though. Uh, there is a significant difference in the fame of Aries, depending on whether or not we're looking at Greek or Roman mythology. Remember, at the beginning, I told you most of the time they're really, really similar. But every once in a while, there's a significant difference. Here is a major difference. Okay, so both mythologies. Um, he is the son of Zeus and Hera, which is a huge deal, okay? Because um, Zeus has all kinds of babies, but how many babies does he have with his wife? Not that many, and most of them don't end up going turning out too great, okay? Most of them actually kind of symbolize their relationship, okay? Now, as the son of Zeus and Hera, that would make him technically the prince of Olympus, right? It's like Zeus is the king, Hera is the queen, he should be the prince. So you would think he would get all kinds of attention but he doesn't really get that kind of attention in Greek mythology, okay? Um, because in the Greek thought, he symbolized that conflict between Zeus and Hera, and he is the symbol of like the bloody, like ridiculousness of war, like that unnecessary destruction of war. And that's kind of what we see with Zeus's, Zeus and Hera's kids. So like he's a god of war, Discordia is their other daughter, and she is the goddess of discord or disruption because they can't get along. So pretty typical. They have like one normal kid and that kid they treat terribly. Okay, so with Ares, his symbols are exactly what you'd expect. So like the bloody shield and the bloody spear, uh, vultures like coming and eating dead bodies during wartime. Dogs, as in like dogs of war, um, not like we think of like domesticated puppies. This would be more like wolves okay so um that is what symbolizes Ares. now <clears throat> in the trojan war he fights on the trojan side which is why that that conflict again was so fierce because you had the athenian okay so athena the goddess of civilized warfare going up against Ares, the more brute strength war uh war god and so you have like the greek ideal of war going against the more of the roman ideal of the war really is what it ends up being and they're conflicting now the greeks win that one right but in real life, when the Romans take over later, they treat Ares very differently. Okay, so the Greeks actually hate him. Okay, in Greek mythology, he is portrayed as a coward, someone who starts fights but won't finish them, someone who runs away whenever he gets wounded. Um, so it's like definitely that like unnecessarily violence. The Romans though take over, and they're looking at all these gods, and they're like, "Wait a second, there's a god of war. Let's like let's beef that thing up." And so they love Ares. Mars becomes a big part of their mythology. In fact. He is like their lead god. He is more important, definitely more important than Jove in Roman mythology. In fact, in the Roman stories of their origins, you have like the story of the Aeneid, um, where Aeneas founds Rome. But you have the other founding story, which is of Romulus and Remus, the brothers, okay, who were raised by wolves. Now, <clears throat> then go on to find, find Rome. Now, with that story, where they actually come from, is Mars. Like Mars gives birth to them himself, which I know is weird, but it's what happens. We just embrace it. Um, and then they go on to, to found the city of Rome. And so um, well, one of them does. The other one dies. <laughs> but with that, um, in most of the stories. So with that, though, Mars then becomes like not only important to them, but the founder of their nation. In fact, they all consider themselves descendants of Mars. So really big deal to the Romans, really not great deal to the Greeks, okay? Because the Greeks were thinkers and the Romans were warriors. Now, another cool thing to know is that the Amazons, the warrior women who like love to destroy men, the very first Amazon was Harmonia, who was actually the daughter of Ares and Aphrodite. So love and war came together and they created Harmonia, Harmony, who was a woman who loved to kill men. So I'm not really sure where the Harmony exists in that necessarily. Well, I guess they were beautiful and warlike, so maybe like they were both. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, so a couple pictures here for you. So this is uh, Ares. So you've got him like in his armor. He's like always in armor, except for, I guess, when he was giving birth. So that's what's happening there. But I mean, embrace that. Um, then we have a vulture, um, Wonder Woman, because she was an Amazon. And then uh, I've always had this picture of <clears throat> this dog here, but I realized he's not really like a war dog. It's more like a puppy. And so I went looking for pictures of war dogs later, and um, I found this guy. He definitely looks like he's going for war, and so that's maybe more what they had in mind. Or and this is like his little buddy here, and of course, you know, you got these guys. Which, if that doesn't make you happy, have a great day, guys. Make wise decisions. Merry Christmas.